Such a lovely day. Shame I'm about to piss that away. How I hear you cry? Well, I'm going to discuss 10 or so more problems that's going wrong or has gone wrong with Redo's golden goose and why Redo won't listen, learn, or respond or just flat out doesn't care anymore. Ten problems that are wrong with heroes and generals. Number one, the matchmaker. And the load times for fights are far past stupid when I am forced to wait anywhere between five to 20 minutes to get into a fight while I have boosters going to waste I my ad when I do have boosters. And they do cost real money, i.e. gold. And so that's down the drain. That's money down the drain, along with premium time wasted, and from my personal time wasted. Why not just spawn in bots, of which, of varying skill levels, which you have shown in the past that you can do, Reto, to replace players that are not in queue, and or remove the bots when players join, like old FPSs like Quake and Unreal used to do. This will give players the games that they want, and the matches that they want. You, Reto, have shown in the past that you can add bots to your maps. See one of those lacking devs Twitch streams that you did, in which you showed us a match full of players versus bots. And in fact, you even implemented it in one of your updates where it was required to do an encounter map where it was players versus bots. So you can't tell me that you don't have that mechanic in your game, you already do. So not only have I proven that number one is a problem, but I've also given you a way to fix it. Number two, the lackluster game engine and map layouts. In fact, I have to spam my spacebar just to jump out of a foxhole, while other games that have just a simple hole button, Battlefield, now even Call of Duty has it. And yet games that look like Hitman 1, and yes, Redo did help to make Hitman, versus games like Warframe, another so what, somewhat hack and slash shooter. And even the Call of Duty free-to-play, the Chinese version, looks 10 times better, even with a limited and aged system. Yours is just showing and shockingly bad. And even in the past, you have said that the reason why you cannot move forward with certain mechanics, i.e. your bipod system, yeah, we all remember that update, right? Is because of the game engine and its limitations. So don't you think it's time you switched game engines? Crytek, Unreal, Unity. There are tons of engines out there that have lots of modding support. Number three, lack of Twitch streamer support. I, like others, Cotton, Waxy, Scotty, all have streamed Heroes and Generals, and only Cotton got support from you. I did, however, get three gold codes once to give away. Now, I cannot talk for other streamers on this subject, but your support for your player base just seems lacking. You have even stopped doing your monthly dev streams where you answer questions, if you ever did answer questions. And since you took your 8 million plus euros from your new CEO, the game has just acted and has become like a cold war between you, the devs, and us, the player base. And sadly, the streamers are the ones hurting. Number four. Poor HUD and gunplay. This this just sums it up. Heroes and Generals is a shooter. Then act like it. Make it feel like it again. I'm so tired of this laggy, slow, makes you feel like you're hip deep in custard while trying to shoot. Number five. Bad class system. This is a given since when did German Recon ever use an MP40? Because from what I found in both my large book collection and online research, not just Wikipedia, I might add, I only ever found two references to, the, to a German recon ever using an MP34 or an MP35, which I might add is not in the game, but never an MP40. 
So why does the German recon get an MP40 as well as the infantry and the paratroopers and even the tankers? Everyone in the German army gets an MP40. Insert uh, Oprah, Win uh, Oprah Winfrey meme of you get an MP40, he gets an MP40, you all get an MP40! Why not give class specific weapons to those classes and only those classes? You did it with the with the US paratroopers, with the Johnson and with the semi-automatic carbine. Now all of a sudden the infantry can get the Johnson and the semi-automatic carbine. Uh, the Soviet paratrooper can use all the weapons from the Soviet infantry. The German infantry is the only one in that exception when it gets the Falsham Jäger Gewehr 42, and I actually said that the first time around. Holy cow. Gold Star Cobra. And yet, in your own artwork, you show a German infantryman using the Falsham Jäger Gewehr 42, giving your player base false hope that the Falsham Jäger Gewehr 42 would actually be for the infantry to use. You've actually misled your player base. Number six. Unit only item items and weapons. Give recon their own set of items and weapons. This is a tandem to number five. As well as your skill system. Stop allowing infantry and tanker and para to use recon perks and skills. If you want the game to be more of an even keel or more balance factor. Why can a tanker or a paratrooper or an infantryman take the recon badge? Why not just be a recon? Oh that's right. Recon get less equipment. And the only upside a recon has is I get an eight times powered scope and access to two different barrels. That's it. That justifies me losing four perk slots. Oh, 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 I get an armored car. Um, again, that justifies losing four equipment slots. I just... doesn't make sense there, does it, Reto? And I'm pretty sure some of you internal guys agree with me there. Plain and simple, you have para trooper only badges. Infantry only badges. Yet, you have made planes and tanks borderline unkillable. And I will even throw in a clip here of me destroying a full undamaged panther in my M5 Stuart, I might add. And you don't seem to understand why your player base is dead. Okay. This leads on to number seven. Lies. Dear God, the lies. You have said about adding this and that and it never showing up. Still waiting for those bipods and the bavaclavas. They were shown at the same time as the new skirmish map that had the tractor. And yet, nothing. You'll add skins for helmets and camouflage for planes and tanks and stuff that players are never going to use. Yet... You, according to your own Trello.com site, I'll post a link in the video description so you, the viewers of this video can follow this along. You're adding new faces for soldiers, new textures for eyebrows, a new so-called encounter map. Yet you've put all the other things that players have wanted on hold, i.e. the bipods, the bavaclavas. You've put those on hold to work on things that you can work on. That's kind of like the cart being in front of the horse, but nevertheless. Number eight, poor teamwork. I know you've added this team system, hold Q for highlights on a capture point, etc. But why not auto set it to defend upon capturing the point? Why the hell do I have to reissue a command that anyone in any army would simply just defend the point until ordered not to? I'm also tired of players not listening to a given command, and I think there should be a negative experience penalty to a teammate who does not follow orders given. So I'm still getting orders from a private when I'm a frickin' major. 
still doesn't make any sense. A bug that you've said in the past, and this goes back to number seven of your lies, that you seem to have patched when that's not true. You haven't patched it at all. I still fail to understand the fact that I have to hold Q, highlight the capture point, and then tap my fire button. Why can't I just double tap Q while on the command point to automatically set that this is the point we're defending? And furthermore, why do Recon still not get Recon EXP? You have armor support EXP if infantry stand next to a tank while the tank does an action, yet you cannot implement a spotting system which is already in the game, I might add. You've even updated the icons yet you still cannot say okay this recon over here on this rock with a pair of binoculars not killing i might add not being selfish not being the lone wolf but actually being a team player has spotted the persian on this hill or the tiger on that ridge or the hetzer over here or an apc that is spawning an infinite amount of gi's to capture this point right here He's going out of his way to not earn experience, not earn credits, etc, etc, and to be a team player, to help his team. Can't you just give a guy a pat on the back and say, here you go, here's a portion of EXP and credits that would have been yours because you're being a team player. Wouldn't that make sense? Adding a spotting system? Something that I've talked about in previous videos that you said you was going to add but never did. Number 10, obsolete skills and perks. Why add two new ribbons, the team ones, only to remove them and, remove them and update later? Why? God, why do that? Why? Why add the squad leader and squad teammate badges? Have us grind those badges out, give us unit points and all this other stupid blabber only to remove them because you realized squad 2.0 was a fundamental massive fucking mistake gee i wonder why and here's some bonus bitches for you number 11 now some of these points i've made you may agree with some you may not and that's okay that's up to you however I've been playing Heroes in Generals for a number of years, yes, years, and I've seen it all in Heroes in Generals, and I've done it all in Heroes in Generals. However, this time, I have to get some things off my chest. Redo says they've gone to a local World War II history museum to get hands-on with some of the items and equipment, yet this may be true, however, I do not think it is. Just because it is or it is not near you, Reto doesn't mean it was not ever used in World War II, i.e. the Yag Panther tank destroyer. Where's the Yag Panther? Where's the Jackson M36? Where's the KV-1? Hint, the KV-1 was in service before the T-3485, and yet no KV-1. A good starter heavy tank, I might add. And the KV-1 also came out before the KV-85. It's like you have the Idiot's Guide to World War II book or something, and you're basing your whole game off of it. Why why add radios to the map, the capture points, yet I can cap it from the roof of the building that's nowhere near the radio? No, no, nowhere near the radio. I can be on the roof of the church on Mountain Town, and the radio is down in the bottom. And... Because I'm a paratrooper, because I landed on the roof, I can now capture the point and the infantry have to go outside of the building, go up some spiral stairs, to try and hunt me down and kill me. Th that makes no sense. I would suggest having players actually go up to the radio and interact with it in order for it to count as capturing the point. You know? Would make it fair for the defenders. Give the defenders a chance to actually defend. Just saying. And what really grinds my gears. Is your tier unlock system for weapons mods. I understand that you are swapping over the models. From whatever they are, they are now. To more detailed slash textured models. So. When I buy a trigger for my gun. 
the rate of fire of the weapon increases. You can visually see it. You can physically see it. I put a light spring in there, you can see it. Put a heavy spring in there, you can see it. I put different bullets in there, you really can't see those. So, you can physically alter the model of the weapon in the soldier's hands, yet when I buy upgraded sights, the sights remain the same. Wouldn't it be more prudent to actually visually change the model of the weapon sights in my hands? I mean, I, I know it's a gripey thing, but the point is, why is it some modifications actually have physical representations, i.e. scopes, and yet when I buy matched sights, for example, for my Thompson, the sight remains the same. And my other gripe... <laughs> my other gripe has to do with the limited amount of weapons in the game. There was a lot more weapons used in World War II than what you showed. There was a lot more scopes used in World War II than what we have. And the sounds. Why do all the semi-automatic weapons sound the same except for the reload? Why do I have to listen for that ding? If I'm fighting the Americans to realize it's a GI and not a German. I'm glad there's not ting damage unless someone throws a grenade or, or whatnot. I'm glad. But at the same time, I'm not. Because I shouldn't have to shoot at a friendly, scare the piss out of him because he scared the piss out of me because he's using the wrong weapon. That makes no sense. And you did get the historical sounds to work. I, I remember when you first introduced them, but you rolled them back. I have no idea why you rolled them back, but you rolled them back. That makes no sense. And it also leads me into another problem I have. Unkillable paraplanes and unkillable tanks and unkillable cars and APCs and even the freaking farm truck is unkillable. Since when did the, the C-47 ever have belly armor? Hint. Belly. Not wing, not tail, not flaps, not controls. And when it says, you know, X module is destroyed and the fucking thing is still flying like nothing has ever happened, I'm sorry. Just no. If if the wind controls are shot out on the plane on the paraplane, the paraplane needs to crash. If the tail controls are shot out, the plane needs to crash. Okay. The amount of times I have quite literally unloaded cannon, cannon, twenty millimeter cannon rounds, or fifty caliber rounds, or whatever rounds, into a paraplane, and it is still flying as if meh. Nothing's happened. I'm sorry, you need to add... I'm sorry, but you need to add badges or something or buff the damage that the AAA can do to planes. You just need to add more balance factor because nobody ever gets into the AA guns anymore unless they're fighting recon planes because for some reason, recon planes are useless. Quite literally useless. This is why my pilots don't fly recon planes anymore. I only fly my medium fighters and I don't even fly my heavy fighters. So, I have no idea what you're doing there. I really don't. I have no idea what you're doing at Reto. I have no idea what direction you want to take this game, but I'm telling you now, if you don't, take this video to heart if you don't listen you're going to lose your game for good anyway guys if you stayed this long in the video please leave a comment in the comment section down below Redo, Red Bionna, Robotron, whoever if you guys do listen to this please take this to heart I used to love Heroes and Generals and I still do parts of me still do and I even left out a big rant here about your servers and your ping and the fact that your matchmaker forces me. It forces me onto European servers where my ping is 100, 200 and up. 
and I'm teleporting across the map and it looks like I'm hacking or other players are hacking you seriously need to fix that matchmaker because that is your Achilles heel till then guys I'll see you in the next video